Welcome back to another overview slash uh, quick unboxing and today I'm going to show you the Rock Pi 4 single board computer and uh, you can use it to, for running Android version 8 and Debian Linux and also Ubuntu Linux, Linux is supported and I guess also uh, Kodi will be supported soon I'm not sure about that but a few other distributions will surely be supported so this board comes in two uh, versions or models the model A uh, doesn't have any Wi-Fi but does have an Ethernet uh, port and the model B which is an high-end uh, version comes with Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth 5 and also the power over Ethernet option is included so this one is the version uh, B with 2 GB of RAM as you can see here the maximum uh, RAM you can uh, get this board is about 4 GB of RAM and the price is about $75 without any shipping cost so you have an option from 1 GB of RAM up to 4 GB of RAM okay so I start with the unboxing and I'll show you all the accessories you can buy for this board so let's start with the package. Uh, the company which sent me the items included a nice manual. This one is in German. That's the supplier. Not relevant. Also, other accessories. Okay. So first of all, you have the USB Type-C cable for charging and also for updating the board firmware so you can buy it USB Type-3 here and soldered USB connector here so that's for the cable heat sink a very simple type heat sink with a dual side uh, sticker here so you need it What's next? Power supply, power adapter. The company sent me this one with the US, US standard here. So they also sent me a converter from US to European standard. So it connects like that, pretty long. But I'm sure it's something temporary. Maybe the company will solve it to something more uh, small in size so that's for the power information about the power supply unit here you can see so that's for the power next you have an option for an open type case you can buy also made from plastic of course so it's composed of two plates one on top of each other so this all you can see here this window is probably for the heat sink which goes on the CPU so that's basically the the cover on the bottom of the board on the back side and you also have of course the the holes for the GPU and display port and also for the camera interface so you have two plates sitting like this with a bunch of screws here also included you can see here for connecting both plates together with the board so that's also a nice option but I personally prefer prefer a closed type of a case and for metal or plastic so that's for the case another option is the EMMC chip can see here this one is the 16 gigabyte EMMC uh, module you can buy it if you don't buy it you just need to load the system files from a micro SD card so you can see here information about the EMMC so I'll open the nice case for it protective case and you can see the connectors which basically goes on the PCB of the board on the board itself, sorry so 
So that's for the EMMC. Again, if you want speed, you need to buy one because the read-write speeds of the EMMC chip is definitely are definitely better than a micro SD card. So you can see here, that's basically the case for the board, a nice protective case. You can see here, it's the 2 GB RAM version. Let's open it. And you can see also there's a nice card. I'll open it. Showing the layout of the board. So it's a nice uh, graphical type of uh, card. And you can see the CPU and the RAM also. So going to the board. And it looks like a Raspberry Pi. I think in the color maybe. Here we can see the Wi-Fi chip, a GPIO interface. This one is the display port on the side. Camera interface also. HDMI version 2, USB Type 3 for the power. Analog uh, connector here port on the side. You have one gigabyte Ethernet port, two USB version 3, an additional USB to Type 2 additional pair. So it looks pretty good. Uh, let's switch to the back side of the board where the CPU you can see it right here and you have a pair of chips the memory chips here 2 GB of RAM also here you have the micro SD card slot socket for loading the operating system again you can use the EMMC chip for that and here you can see the socket for the EMMC chip if you choose to use it you have two connectors on the PCB and you also have a M.2 interface if you want to use an SSD card card sorry so you can use an SSD card with this interface but you need to buy an expansion card and this uh, interface supports uh, SSDs up to 2 terabytes of uh, storage storage space so it's pretty nice, but again, you need to buy an expansion card with this board so you can use the option. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy my quick overview of this board. Bye. Welcome back to the second part video and as you can see right now, I'm running Android TV image. So it runs pretty good on the Rock Pi 4 and of course the Rock Pi 4 I'm using right now is a 2 GB edition, 2 GB of RAM and you have a bunch of apps here installed including Kodi. It's an old version of Kodi but it does come pre-installed with this image. You, of course you can update the, the version so I'm getting out of this and it's pretty clean install so very easy to use you also have a few apps uh, the default apps normally included in every rock chip uh, firmware every firmware for rock chip uh, SOC you also have the Play Store of course pre-installed works pretty good everything is okay smooth YouTube and of course you can also add different apps here it's very easy the UI and the experience is good Wi-Fi also works pretty good more information about Android and right now I'm using a Wi-Fi connection so I'll show you what speed I'm getting from fast.com website just to get a general reference let's see how it works so Wi-Fi
So speed is pretty good. Almost 40. 37. So it's pretty okay for Wi-Fi. So that's for the Wi-Fi performance. Of course you have the Ethernet port. And uh, this version works pretty good. So I hope you enjoy my quick uh, overview of Android TV. Thanks for watching and bye. To the last part of this uh, review. Uh, right now I'm using uh, Debian Linux LXDE desktop environment under LXDE and also you can see uh, this distribution is uh, very lightweight and I've installed here uh, LibreOffice which works pretty fast I do recommend the replacing the heatsink of this uh, board to something more serious maybe adding an, uh, an additional uh, fan for the cooling but overall works pretty good you can use this board as a mini workstation it's enough for uh, office applications and web surfing so right now I'm using Wi-Fi option and let's check connection normally I use fast.com it's pretty accurate so I'm inside a closed room so not bad you can also use the uh, LAN uh, option the Ethernet port of course so that's the speed I'm getting with Wi-Fi without any external antennas this board doesn't have any external antennas uh, option so works still pretty good also uh, audio settings are here perfectly fine and also you have uh, the Wi-Fi network option you can see all the access points networks so everything works pretty good and smooth of course you can use uh, few commands to show to display uh, memory resources so right now from about 2 gigabyte of RAM I mean you I have free about 1.1 gigabyte free uh, RAM from 2 gigabyte in total so 1.1 is free for me without any application running in the background so experience is good and of course you can see the audio settings here you can switch between analog to digital uh, settings here so that's it for Debian Linux I hope you enjoy my review thanks for watching and bye